Today we're going through four huge mistakes that you might be making that is making it really hard for you to build muscle. Plus, I'm gonna show you how you can fix each of these mistakes so you can build more strength, build more muscle, and get in the best shape of your life. Before we hop into that, if you guys are ready to get in the best shape of your life, make sure that you smash the subscribe button. I post weekly fitness content to help you get in the best shape of your life. So if you're ready to take your fitness to the next level, make sure that you smash the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the content that I post every week. The first biggest mistake that I see people making when they're trying to build muscle is that they're not properly overloading their muscles. If you are not focusing on progressive overload in your workouts, that is one huge mistake that is costing you muscle. Progressive overload is one of the most important steps in order to build muscle. Now there's lots of different ways that we can progressively overload our muscles. One of the most common ways people use is using weight as a way that we can overload the muscles. So by adding five pounds, adding 10 pounds over time, just getting stronger on basic compound movements. That's one of the best ways that we can really progressively overload our muscles, but there's other ways that you can do it too as well. Other ways that you might not think of overloading muscles include things like increasing the volume of exercise that you do within the workouts, decreasing your rest times, creating more time under tension. You can do supersets where you're pairing multiple exercises together. But the biggest thing that we really wanna focus on is we need to create some sort of stimulus in order for our muscles to change. If we're not giving our muscles a reason to change, I promise you, they will not change. So, biggest mistake number one that people make is they're not overloading. And like I said, it doesn't just have to be weight that we're using to overload. We can use other techniques and other tools in order to overload our muscles so that you can see more muscle growth. Before we hop into the second step, I'm gonna leave a link to my jacket down in the comments in the description below. You can use the code JORDAN20 for 20% off your first order. So Fit Grind Apparel is my fitness apparel line. And our brand is for those people that like to work hard day in, day out in the gym. And they really like to grind and, and work hard towards their fitness. But they also like to look good in their fitness clothes. So like I said, if you're a hard worker, our brand's for you. It's all about matching that fit with your grind. Go check it out. I'll leave a link down in the comments in the description below after you watch this video. And you can use that JORDAN20 code for 20% off your first order. The second biggest mistake that I see people making when they're trying to build muscle is just the lack of a plan. So many people just go into the workout and it's so willy nilly and it's just random and a great workout is just that. It's a great workout. But if you're really trying to build muscle and you're really trying to maximize your progress, you need to be following a plan in order to see that progress. When you're following a plan, every workout is really just a piece of a puzzle that really just blends together. Step number two is kind of building off of that first step where any good plan and any good program is gonna have progressive overload built into it, that there's creating some sort of stimulus for our muscles to grow. By following a plan, I promise you, you're gonna see so much better results because every workout is gonna be meaningful, it's gonna be purposeful, and it's not just random workouts strung together. Now, if you struggle with plans and you're looking for a specific plan, I have full workout programs. I'll leave a link in the description below. You can go check those out after you're watching this video. The third biggest mistake that I see people make, and this is one that so many people make that they don't even know that they're making. This is the flip side of the coin of not having a plan. This is having a plan, but literally never switching it up. If you were doing the same workout day in, day out, month after month, after year, after year, your body's gonna get accustomed to that and you're not gonna make any progress. You can even really focus on progressive overload and adding weight, but at some point, your body's gonna get used to the program that you have and it's gonna say that I have everything I need to get through this workout and there's no need for me to build muscle, there's no need for me to build strength. So in order to continue to see progress, you need to be constantly be switching things up. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to really just completely reinvent the wheel and do these crazy new exercises. All this means is maybe every four, six, eight weeks, you're picking new strength exercises that you're gonna focus on progressive overloading. You add some different accessory exercises in. Maybe you go through phases where you're increasing volume, increasing intensity, but just these subtle changes are gonna make a huge difference in your progress. And it's really gonna help you make continued progress, which no one wants to go to the gym and see the same exact results that they're getting month after month after year after year. You wanna make sure that we're taking a step forward. So, like I said, step number three is the opposite of not having a plan, it's having a plan, but always following literally the same exact workouts and never seeing any more progress. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. So ask yourself, are you doing the same workouts over and over again? If so, you need to make a change. Like I said, I have those full programs. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Go check those out after you're done watching this video. The fourth and final thing, and this list could not be a list about talking about building muscle without this. And the fourth biggest mistake that I see people make is they don't prioritize their protein and they just don't get enough protein in general. Yes, this may be something that's basic, but really look at your, your diet and look at your nutrition and ask yourself, am I getting enough protein? And people ask me, what is enough protein? My rule of thumb is 
If you're really trying to optimize building muscle, you need to get one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So if someone weighs 200 pounds, they're trying to get 200 grams of protein, here's the kicker. Every single day, you need to be consistent with this protein consumption. Protein is what's gonna help us recover from the workouts. It's gonna help us build new tissue. So if really focusing on that protein is really gonna optimize your results and it's gonna optimize the amount of strength and muscle mass that we build. The best way to do this is to really structure each meal around a protein source. So if you're having four meals or three meals and a couple snacks throughout the day, you need to realize that every meal and every snack needs to have some sort of protein. That way you're gonna hit that number a little bit easier. You don't wanna to get to like three o'clock in the afternoon and realize you've only had 50 grams of protein and now you need to get 100 or 150 or whatever your, your target number of protein is between three to the, by the time you go to bed. So structure each meal around a protein source and it's gonna help you get to that number a lot faster. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me. I also want you to comment down below which tip was most helpful for you and which one are you gonna be implementing in your program to build more muscle and build more strength. Like I said, make sure that you go check out Fit Apparel. I'll leave a link down in the comments description below. Use that Jordan 20 code for 20% off your first order. Now, if you're ready for the perfect workout to grow your legs, go check this video out next. It's gonna be the perfect workout to build strength and muscle in your legs. So make sure you go watch that one next and I'll see you guys in the next one.